Hey, this is Alex. You're watching Catch Happy. Behind me is Catch Happy HQ, my 20 foot North River Seahawk. And today I'm going to be installing Halo 20 Lawrence radar along with the FS9, Lawrence FS9 screen paired up. I'm going to take you through every step of the installation. I personally had a lot of trouble looking for resources on YouTube or anywhere else on how to install those units onto an aluminum boat, specifically on top of the tower. And I'm gonna just talk you through every single step. Let me show you what, what this video will cover today. I'm gonna show you how to install this Lawrence Hollow 20 onto the plate on top of the tower. Um, I also re had to relocate the anchor light. And then I'm gonna show you how to connect everything together, how to run the wires. So you run the wire right through here, fed it through, under, and into the panel, connecting all the stuff and then putting this unit on. Now I didn't do the video I didn't really video installing the unit itself, it's just four bolts. And then you make a hole right there to run the wires through. Pretty simple stuff, but basically here's my setup. Here's my main Garmin. It's gonna have the sonar, it's gonna have the chart plotter, and then I'm gonna have the radar and another like uh, chart plotter or uh, maybe some other uh, fish finder views on this screen. But the beauty here is this. This Laurent pairs up with an iPhone and it does the Miro uh, function, which means that anything I do on this display look quickly, it just mirrors this. I'm gonna go back to radar, it goes back to this. So I can have a glance right here on my phone without taking my eyes off the front panel here. Now I can always glance to the left and see but my passenger can also monitor the radar or, or other functionality of that screen. Again, I, I'm going to have eventually live view or side view on that screen. I haven't decided yet. But this is the setup I'm going to go through. I'm going to cover all of the little intricate details of the install. So it's a little bit long, but hopefully it helps you out as I could find nothing to help me out doing this install. All right, let's get into it. Since this is the first time I'm doing an install like this, I've uh, had to wait a couple of days to kind of gather the stuff I needed. So um, this is something I'd recommend you get ahead of time if you want to finish install in one day, which is totally possible. Um, I got myself, and this all this stuff is basically Amazon stuff. I got a set of grommets um, of various sizes, um, all different kinds. Then I have another set that's for through haul stuff. Um, these have, yeah, you can cut inside this membrane here and put wires in so it kind of helps keep the moisture out. So that's what I'm thinking this is for more of a through hull kind of uh, uh, grommets. Um, I got a specialized crimping tool for these connectors. So let me talk about these for just a second. These are good because these have special uh, formulation, well, it's it's, it's the copper-based connectors. Um, they're also sh heat shrink. So the way uh, those would work, and I'll show you this during install, and this is uh, basically all color-coded for specific gauges. So 22 to 16 gauge, you'll use this thing to join those two wires. You put one in, you crimp it, you put the other one in, you crimp it, and then you heat shrink it, use a heat gun, and this thing seals it. So it's waterproof connection. Um, really, really good stuff. Uh, this is kind of what we want for all of our electrical connectors and I got a specialized crimping tool for that. I mean, I had a really crappy crimping tool and stripping tool for that matter. So I got this one, uh, the same company goes along. It's color coded and you know, it's basically connector color to the color and it's easy to not make a mistake and crimp, crimp it really well with this tool. So made that investment, uh, got some, tubing, uh, split tubing for various sizes. And of course I got some 3M um, wire organizers with some, some of these things all in one box. So, so I can run wires across um, the electrical bay. Anyway, this is what we got. Uh, let's get restarted. Okay, so here we are. That's top of the tower. This is the bracket. I'm gonna mount the uh, radar to. I've noticed one thing is it's missing a bolt. 
So that's something that we're gonna rectify. Um, I really would like to set a goal for each day. I'm doing this work because you know I got family and other things going on. So this is the only thing I do all day long. So if I can install the radar today, put the plate back on, um, I'm also relocating. As you can see, there was a light um, and a flag pole here. Um, I cut this out and that's where the wire went, uh, goes and it went up, up to here into this grommet right here. So I took that out. We're gonna relocate it right here. I already measured everything. Should be fine. The radar covers about this section here. So we're gonna put the, I really like my light high up and high. So I'm gonna um, work on that later. But today's goal is to install the Halo uh, radar. Uh, drill a hole in this uh, tower tube and feed the wire all the way down. You see where it's coming out. So the goal is to kind of follow the lighting wire path into this tower, the foot of the tower right here, come out right here. Now, the other piece that I want to finish today is put the FS9 right here. Uh, drill holes and wire wire it up to the electrical panel, which is right down there. So that's the plan for the day. Let's get her going. All right, there's always there are always things that come up and this bolt right here, you see, it's just sheared. I was trying to take it off. It's uh, it was bent, so something happened. But uh, we persevere. Now we got the plate off. Marking that uh, this is the grommet is where the front of the boat is. Very important the direction. It's easy to kind of just hurry up and do it, but uh, direction is important. This is the front of the boat, so that's how we're going to mount the radar. Here we go. This is the template that came with the unit. Uh, this is the hardware, and that's the wire we're going to run. So I tape the template to my making sure front. To front of the boat aligns with the front of the boat it's kind of important actually very important to work i don't measure make sure the corners are so two inches away that's a little bit uh more two and a quarter let's make sure we're here again yep that's about two and a quarter yep so if these are even so i'm gonna use a hole puncher and a hammer to mark um, the holes to drill, and I'm going to use 3/8 uh, drill bit to um, drill the holes and um, mount it up and see how it fits uh, before we reinstall the plate and then mount um, the actual unit. But um, I think what I'm going to do is once the holes are done and we can test mount the unit onto the plate, I'm going to work on wire uh, running the wire next. That's going to be the tricky part. Not ideal to do it on the table that's jumping all over but let's see yep we got our markings pretty clear now we know where to drill so one two three four looking good all right let's drill some holes all right one is done let's do the next one you know what i'm gonna start i start with a smaller drill for a pilot hole it seems to work out better the point right into the spot okay and now we're going to put the 3 8 and actually extend the hole okay and so that gives us enough room to fit the bolt. All right, let's do that side. All right, some of you might kind of laugh at this, but 
could make the holes align from a template, but you know what? I have a day job and this isn't it. I'm just playing here and uh, trying to get this done. So let's extend this hole right here. Seems to be working. Not enough. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, one thing I do is I do a quick clean up. <laughs> see how we did. Da -da -da, moment of truth. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, to the naked eye, this seems good. But let's actually put the bolts. I wanna force it, so. Little bit more, extend this a little bit more. And we should be good to go. This is the front, this is our front. We got um, all four bolts. Looking at instructions as always always helpful even though you feel like you know everything which i don't but sometimes some little tips and tricks can be gotten through text so all right let's put this let's mount this uh plate and then put this up on the tower and see how it all fits all right this seems like it's seating well let's see it from different angles Make sure the right, front is the front. Wires coming out in the back. Again, I'm not mounting this yet, but I need to measure the wires before I drill and start pulling uh, pilot wire in there. I want to make sure I actually will get to the panel. It seems to me I might have to run the extension on this one, but uh, let's see how this works out. So, so far, so what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna tape the, the wire to the tower brace tube so I can see if I need to extend the wire. If I need to extend the wire, I don't need to be pulling through with all the plugs. So if I don't, I will pull it through with all the plugs using the mouse wire. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually measure I'm gonna measure and I'm gonna see. All right, this is what I have so far. I mean, if I had to be a betting man, this could be enough, but let's go, uh, let's go actually see. All right, this looks like, oh, it's gonna be close. This looks like it will come this way through the gunnel, inside the gunnel. It's gonna run like so and into the I mean it looks like it's just kind of perfect but the thing is I need to push it to the other side which actually gives me an idea since I'm going to be plugging into this side here all I'll need to do is pull it the other through this tower tube and this gunnel into into here and then we're gonna be good all right so the plate is off we're gonna drill towards the lower part of the of the tube and then put a guide wire in down drill over there right there and uh pull the guide wire put the wire in that's the plan so i'm gonna make the hole a little bit wider because the Cat5 connector doesn't fit. Alright, that should do it, I think. Okay, this is what I ended up with. I just made a larger hole. And I want to make sure I go inside and I don't feel any sharp edges. So what I did, I used this drill here. To just kind of smooth out, like this. smooth out the edges all right so the top right there fed the wire I don't know I hope it dropped in there but if not we'll do it again um, 
that hole is definitely big enough. Now we're gonna make a hole right here. I like to mark it first with the marker right here. And then we're going to first use the pilot. Let's roll this up a little bit so it's out of the way. I'm gonna use the pilot small drill first. Like so. We got a hole. Now we're gonna go next size and get it, get it to a size we need. I mean, look at this size. That's a pretty sizable hole. We want to kind of emulate that. I believe that was professionally installed. On this side, it's going to be. all by me this drill does a good job with this aluminum it's not butter but it's, it's doing a good job okay well let's make this hole nice and smooth a little bit larger and then start getting the guide wire try to drop the guide wire inside it's not Absolutely the easiest thing, but we'll figure this out. I don't have a good wire. I mean, worst comes to worst, I might have to go and get myself a nice, kind of a more sturdy piece of wire than what I have here, which is this little teeny thing. So that's all I have on hand right now. But yeah, I can't feed my tiny wire as is. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna create a vacuum right here with my little shop vac. To HP and I'm gonna try to put this masking tape see if it, this one's gonna do it but um, I might have to undo some bolts I don't want to undo them let's see definitely feel it coming out of here Come on, get in there. Yeah, it's just not happening. All right, heading to the hardware store with a camera on charge. Um, need my guide wire, need grommets, need a hitch ring tubing, need some stainless steel bolts uh, to mount the plate. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get those things in the shop and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right. Cheers. Right, this cup of wire is the new approach. Let's see if we can't make it work. Uh, I don't know, but I feel like this is the right flexibility and strength. So we'll see. Go ahead and feed it in. What is just it's get it's hidden something there there's no way for it to go anywhere what is that why is it hitting go above okay go above oh this is looking good I just hope there's enough clearance Technically, that should be enough. Oh, it's coming out right there. Do you see that? <laughs> yeah, baby, this is it. Get that little copper wire. That's the ticket. All right, now we're just gonna connect it and uh, connect and tape up these things. We got wire time. I'm gonna try and pull them through using the guide wire. Yeah. Here's what I'm doing. I got my guide wire connected here to the main and then I'm gonna 
go ahead and get this around. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to wire tie this right here. So when I'm pulling, it's not pulling these smaller wires and or, or destroying the connector. I'm going to wire tie here. I'm going to put masking tape on everything and I'm going to feed it through. See what happens. Okay, here it is. We're going to test it. It's pretty sturdy. So we're going to feed it through and hope for the best. Let's see what happens. All right. All right, let's help it in. Side. Help it inside. Like so. All right, now let's try to pull this. All right, it's going. I hope it's going. I hope it's going, 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 back to back to Cali, Cali. <laughs> it looks like it's working. I'm not gonna celebrate just yet. Let's get this thing out here. Oh, there she is. Now can we fit it? Can we fit the connector, yes. Ah, uh, come on. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, right. Small wins, guys. Small wins. I don't know. I just get excited about doing a thing. And this is the thing. This is probably like the worst part of the install. This and running a wire through the gunnels to the fish finder. All right. Well, this part is done. Let's get this thing assembled. Okay, here's what I have. You see that Lawrence? Lawrence unit. Uh, that's the radar. The white wire goes inside the tower. It's going through here, coming out here, and now we're gonna put it a little hole through the hull, get it inside under the gunnel, and into the um, into the electrical panel. Pilot hull is done. Now we're gonna get it a little bit larger. So we can fit our stuff through right here. By, by a little bit, I mean a lot larger. Just put it right through with the wire. Makes it easier to pull. I don't want to cut this wire yet because I like, I'm going to keep this wire as a length um, so I can use it for other projects if I want to put any more stuff up on top. I know this is really really good for feeding um, so I highly recommend that. It's a copper wire from your local hardware store. Nothing special here. Let's see if we can get this thing in there and pull through. Uh, no. No way, Jose. Need a lot more. All right. Well, you don't need to see this. This is just working through little steps, widening the hole until it's just big enough. Don't want to make a hole too big, bigger than I need to. Look at this aluminum hull. I mean, that's like quarter inch thick. This is incredible boat. Yeah, I kept having trouble fitting the, fitting this in properly. It was just it was sitting kind of awkward. And I try to get this hole the right size, but this is what you need. This is, uh, just went down to the hardware store and got me a step down drill. This is uh, a little bit of a spendy. It's a Milwaukee one, it's like 50 bucks, but this is what's needed to get this job done. So I'd recommend you just, you, ha you have this. Let's get glasses on, cause all this aluminum, by the way, those aluminum little pieces will be flying everywhere, including your eyes. You want to have eye protection for sure and vacuum those up quick because otherwise they'll get everywhere. All right, let's make this hole even and go from there. And 
that makes a short work of it. That's it. Freaking A, man. Titanium coated Milwaukee. Freaking killer step down here. All right, now we're talking. Now let's fit a proper grommet in there. And now we can get this going. Now look how it sits. Yeah, that's a proper way to fit grommet on. It, it sits just right on a round hole. We gotta seal it up after we're done with all the wiring, all the hookups. Last step's gonna be sealing. But yeah, it sits really well. Now the cable fits nicely through it. Yep. You can also put a grommet afterwards. Now I don't necessarily recommend. I mean, it's it's fine. It's easier to do it right up front, but uh, you can cut it in two. You see right here, and just kind of shove it in place with a nice little screwdriver. And there you have it. Pretty good seat right there. So we're all set up on this end. I think it's time to wire stuff up. Here's what we have so far: radar wire down from the radar, mounted on the top plate to the gunnel inside and out here with a cat5 connection right into this now i didn't want to make a hole super large to fit this whole thing in so what we're going to do we're going to coil this up later on so this is the radar this is the power i'll eventually need to run a fish finder but that's going to come from the gunnel up and into this uh, somehow we'll see how that's gonna work but uh, for now I'm just gonna make a smaller hole get those two radar power now I'm gonna go inside and hook it all up cheers everything is taking a little bit longer but I want to do it right I'm gonna do it carefully so this is the wire let's get five from here from the radars plugged in below right here let's get five plugged in here this is going to go to the fs9 head unit now this is a power for the fs9 head unit now let's go downstairs okay all the connections are made this is all right now again for testing this is just loose stuff i'm not securing any wiring everything is loose so let's plug in the fs9 elite let's plug into the system i mean let's plug into the wires turn on the switch and see what happens okay now i'll take the cover damn cover off i cover is tough it's got to be a trick just a little side note on Lorenz fs9 taking the cover off is like virtually impossible unless you know the trick four fingers here four fingers here thumbs in the two right next to the elite press the thumbs take the fingers off and it comes off very easily ish very easily ish okay here's the moment of truth okay we're gonna turn the power on oh this doesn't light up the switch doesn't light up so that's not a that's not a good thing so the switch doesn't light up that's number one so that's a problem power does not come on so we screwed something somewhere all right let's go looking for it i forgot to power up the switch so <laughs> that was a wire i was already done i just needed to be uh screwed in okay so switch on moment of truth oh yes okay see if I can find the radar here without looking at the instruction there's a startup instruction but I'm just gonna go and make sure the radar works first radar features have been enabled okay that's a good sign okay English select language English yes you know we're gonna go ahead and accept this oh this is very responsive if you want to configure this way for your typical use now no, I don't want to do that right now. Connect to Laurent's mobile app. Okay. Connect to the Laurent's mobile app in order to register, activate warranty, access software updates. Okay, we're going to do it, but let's inherit data. Just not right this second. 
Radar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got action, baby. All right, radar is going. There you go, guys. Project is done. Everything's working. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. Thank you very much for joining Catch Happy, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.